All right, today we have the Sonoscape X5 portable ultrasound with us to review. Welcome to Ultrasound Reviews. My name is Jeff Rubinoff with Complete Medical Services, and on this channel we discuss everything related to ultrasound. Today we're going to go through the Sonoscape X5. Let's look at some of the physical characteristics of the X5 before we get into the inner workings of the X5. The first thing that we're going to notice is the size and weight of this X5. It's very compact, very portable. So for a an entry level ultrasound, I think they did a great job with making it uh, compact and lightweight where still maintaining uh, the size of the monitor so it boasts a 15.6 inch LCD monitor um, you're getting decent resolution the higher end uh, portable uh, ultrasounds are going to be using IPS technology or they're going to be using a higher end LED technology for the monitor but still with a 15.6 inch LCD you're still getting very good resolution the other part uh, of, of this ultrasound that I think is really impressive is the boot up time so typically in order to get a fast boot up time you're going to need to use a solid state hard drive Sonoscape has been able to uh, speed up the boot up time using a standard hard drive although they do offer the solid state drive as an option as an add-on option benefit of a solid state drive is typically boot up time but also uh, durability of product and consistency of maintaining the data um, so but let's get into uh, some of the uh, uh, workflow uh, characteristics of the X5. So first we're going to notice along the top of, of the keyboard are the uh, soft buttons. I think they used actually a pretty good uh, quality uh, button and knob. So it's as easy as uh, clicking to select. There's multiple options for each of the knobs. The knobs, uh, as I mentioned, a good plastic, uh, good quality. Um, they don't seem flimsy. You would expect on, on uh, lower uh, priced uh, systems. They did a, a great job overall uh, with the plastics and uh, the, the physical characteristics of, of this ultrasound. Here we have on the right hand side, top right hand corner, a next button to reveal additional soft key options. Um, going through the workflow, uh, starting with the, uh, the patient. So on the left hand side, and you'll see this on other portables where they can keep all of the uh, the workflow of the ultrasound in specific parts of uh, specific regions. So here as we go through from patient demographic data to selecting the probe, selecting the preset. So if we ever have to go back and we want to select a specific preset, we just hit probe and we can go and change our presets. What Sonoscape has done that's unique, and, and let me see if I can, if I can uh, adjust this a little bit. I'm not sure if you can make out and we'll see it as we go through an editing to see if we see the, uh, the the graphics but this is unique typically when you go through the presets it's verbiage here they've added graphics um, I, I as I'm looking through uh, on my end it looks like they're just it's just white that's the the reflection but here starting on the left hand side we have carotid thyroid breast superficial testicle we have artery venous upper nerve lower nerve and msk it's it's a nice way it's a different or a different way of showing the uh, the presets makes it real easy to select so if i want to go to a uh, a carotid study i just move the cursor to carotid and now we're ready to do a carotid scan um, so as we go through and identify uh, some of the uh, the workflow buttons um, one thing that I should note is that the Sonoscape X5 is a full shared service system. So today I have an array of transducers in front of me. I have the linear transducer plugged in uh, to to the uh, the ultrasound. Uh, there is a phased array here with me, um, uh, a micro convex and a standard convex. There, there there's other uh, transducers that are available. Um, there is an endo cavity as well, so if you want to use this for full OBGYN or if you're using it for urology, you'll have a full array of uh, transducers to choose from. If you're in a full shared service environment and you are doing everything, then the, all of the transducers are available. Um, as we get into workflow and mention you select patient, we get into selecting our presets. Uh, finishing an exam is as easy as just hitting end exam, going to report. We can go into review mode 
um, as you're working and doing the scanning along the top of the of, of the uh, trackball will have the calc button calipers and along the top between the trackball buttons and the keyboard you have M mode pulse wave color flow B mode so it's very easy to, to move back and forth uh, between the different selections there are two user defined uh, preset buttons on the left hand uh, corner of, of the ultrasound here uh, body marker you've got the angle um, selecting the pointer selecting for annotation if you need to clear your annotation notes um, there is on the right hand side as we get into where most of the work of the, the sonographer ends up being as you're scanning we have the depth uh, focal point you have auto optimization as well as gain so if you have the auto optimization but then you have your gain knob here um, there's the zoom function as well so you can easily zoom um, you can change the auto optimization you can change your depth you can change your focal point um, it's all very easy and it stands out um, as it is well illuminated um, dual screen mode is available or, um, and if you're looking to save images we have our image store over here in the bottom right hand corner as well as the store of a CNA file you'll notice that as these images are storing you're going to see the thumbnails in the top right hand corner uh, of the of the monitor so overall this is a very full feature at ultrasound there's a lot of options a lot of benefit um, this is on an entry-level product on price and on image quality but overall as an entry level product it definitely can compete uh, for image quality and will work well for a site a family practice or some uh, site that is more on on the budget side but they still want decent image quality uh, in a portable product that would be the uh, Sonoscape X5 um, if you like today's video give a, a, a thumbs up uh, to show that you like today's video um, if you like all of our videos and you'd like to subscribe to our channel, I would uh, ask that you subscribe to our channel so that way you can follow us as we upload new videos. Um, in order to be notified of our new videos, once you hit subscribe, you'll notice a bell. If you click the bell, that will give you a notification every time we do upload a new video. So thank you for joining me today on Ultrasound Reviews and I look forward to seeing you on our next video.